Therefore, we commend his soul to the Lord. Thank you all for coming. Oh, yes, I age in a long time. But what happened on my last mission, I can't tell you about it. I'm trying to cope, but I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> I mean, um, look at me. I'm falling apart. All right. So what do you want of me? I want you to help. Are you sure this is what you want? For sure. I mean, I mean, sure. I gotta, I gotta get. Okay. I realize I'm asking more than I should. I have it. What else to do? It's okay. It's okay. We will go through this together. I'll be there for you. Right? Okay. Just, I, I'm, I'm going to need some time to think about this. Give me till tomorrow afternoon. Can, can you live with that? something cooking in the Middle East. You've always got something cooking. And I need her. It's imperative. It's always imperative. Presidential order. Oh, well, that sounds familiar. Jamie, I'm asking you as a friend. Jamie, Also, you're going to have to find another cook. She needs a rest. That bad, eh? Whatever she saw on her last assignment, it's completely rattled her. You wouldn't care to fill in the blanks, would you? I'll pretend you didn't ask me that. Well, that makes two of you. She won't tell me anything either. But she needs time to heal. Not another assignment. You're going to have to find somebody else. JB. I'm her friend, too, Oscar. You wouldn't care to come out of retirement for a quick, life-threatening trip to the Far East, would you? Uh, it's your answer, buddy. I'm getting married in three days. You know that. I can dream. Not in this office. All right. I'll give Kimberly some time off, and I'll find myself another agent. Meanwhile, see you at the altar. Bye. Regarding patient Kimberly Harmon. Thank you. 
Hey, if you're gonna start something, you better be prepared to finish it. Oh? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Had a list in your pocket, or you're just glad to see me. Well, let me see. Uh, got hotel, restaurant, flowers, travel agent. What am I missing? Minister. We must make sure we haven't changed our minds. You're kidding. That's the way it works. We haven't, have we? No. Oh, good. You still have me about this? About standing up in front of 76 people, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I do. How about you? I do, too. <laughs> See, this is good. We can do this. Well, good. What would you say to some exercise? Oh, what you have in mind? Well, uh... I just had a reason. You know, according to my calculations, give or take a dollar or two, I think I owe you somewhere in the neighborhood of six million dollars. My kind of neighborhood. I can't believe you keep coming back and over this. <laughs> Ready to visit the cleaners, darling? Come on. Are you all ready, sweetheart? Come on. Good shot. Very funny. Should have changed the bet. To what? Uh, quite a little ceremony on the beach, like burgers for ten. Oh. You all right? Wounded pride. Let's go. Closely will OSI monitor the situation. Very. I don't mind telling you. Don't be. I've got a team standing by if we need it. We're covered. Oscar. Carolyn. Hello. Hello. Oh. More beautiful every time I see you. You will stay for the ball tomorrow, won't you? The fairest lady has already spoken for. Congrats. Oh, Oscar. Honestly, the way you come and go, you haven't changed a bit. I've got a good excuse this time. I'm the best man at a wedding. Steve Austin. About time. Well, that is a good excuse. Come on, Oscar. I'll walk you to the car. You have a visitor, I see, Mr. Ambassador. Rashid. Ah, Mr. Ambassador. Who's that? Tennis star, Astad Rashid, our guest of honor. He has all the female population smitten, but he skulks around here like a church mouse. Boy needs a good talking to, if you ask me. Thanks for coming, Oscar. I'm grateful. Okay. Give my best to Steve. I shall. So long, back.
What hazardous mission? Come on, that Russian spy defecting. Or how about rescuing that mad scientist from Gaiafra? Oh. Now that was bad. Yes, I remember. It was also the time that you insisted we go north to Garatabu. Well, it was you who insisted that we go south. That's right. So we went east. <laughs> You know, none of it can compare to my most dangerous mission. Oh. Asking you to marry me. <laughs> right. Uh, who did the asking? Well, I do recall a little assistance. A little assistance? Hmm. Uh, I better get the check. Uh, waiter. I know that look. Good luck. I know that tone, too. Well, I was just thinking. You know, marrying you looks as good today as it did 20 years ago. I just, just think we ought to postpone the wedding a little bit. Is that right? Yeah. Why? Well, Dr. Marjan is going on vacation. He's referred all his patients to me, and I'm going to be strong. Some of those patients are very fragile people. Add me to the list. Honey, I, I want our wedding day to be wonderful. I don't want to be thinking about anything or anyone else. I... So we wait for what? The day that Jamie suddenly stops caring about her patients? The day that her professional career doesn't step on her private life? That sounds like a very long wait. Please don't fight me on this. No, 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 no. Look, I, I'm sorry, but you're a part of my life. I'll share you with your patients if I have to. They can come to the wedding for all I care. But we're getting married in two days if we have to perform the ceremony right in your office. Jamie. I was just sort of hoping you'd understand. Look, I'm scared too. We just have to have a little faith. My stubbornness. Well, I used to be tenacious, but I'm mellowing. What's the matter? Uh, it's my hand. I think it's embarrassed about losing the game yesterday. Let me see. You told anybody about this? There's nothing to tell. It's just a little pain. I think it's probably just stress. How's it? It's better. <laughs> Call it biopractics. Biopractics? Mm -hmm. I see. you're in for marrying me. Yeah, well, I'll take my chances. I just want you to promise me you'll talk to Oscar about your hand. I will. If it gets any worse, I promise. I worry about you. And I love you, too. Yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow. Night. Oh, no.
from working into the night. I want you both back at HQ double time. Don't ask, I don't get paid to think. Excellent point, it's at March, here we are. Bing, bang, boom. Yes, Gunny. One of the few, one of the proud. Sorry, folks, party's been canceled. to speak to you on a matter of great importance. Really? Yes. I have decided to request political asylum of you, sir. I wish to become an American. John, there are men running through the garden. What? They have cut. Oh, my God. Oscar was wrong. We're going to my office. Quick, let's get inside. Good afternoon, Mr. Ambassador. No, thanks for trying, operator. So what did you tell Steve? I told him my already burdensome caseload had become overwhelming. Not an easy man to bluff. This is true. Oscar, my, uh, my legs are weak. My arm has been aching for a month. It's having spasms. And this morning, I couldn't even lift it up over my shoulder. My ear, I, I keep hearing conversations everywhere I go. I'm at work, I'm in the grocery store, and all the sounds that keep running together, and I'm having trouble isolating anything. My bionics are breaking down. What? Well, that's not possible. Oscar, it's my body. I'm telling you, I can't control it. Well, I'll track down Rudy Wells. I'm sure he can explain it to us. <gasps> what if he can't? What if I end up in a wheelchair? You won't. 
But if I do... Steve is expecting to marry somebody who beats his behind in racquetball. Somebody who, who runs 60 miles an hour, takes a little 20-mile swim with him once a week. We've been bionic together for a very long time. Jamie. Steve has loved you for so much. He's not going to stop now. Well, I can't ignore the truth. But I'm becoming somebody neither one of us knows. And yes, I know he'll do what he'll do. He'll, he'll stay and he'll be wonderful. But I can't dump myself on him in that condition. I can't put us through that. I can't stand the thought of him loving me out of pity or having him look stop at me. Stop it. Not knowing Just what he's stop feeling. it. Steve loves you. Oscar. Excuse me. What is that, Jim? Upsync message from NSA. Oh, read it. What did they say? Uh, it's all right. Go ahead, read it. Satellite reports gunfire to American Embassy, Nassau. Reports from local authorities to follow. End message. 16, 21 hours. Call Hellstrom at the CIA. Go on. Put out your fire. It's okay. I'm all right. All right. I'll track Rudy down, huh? Thank you. Sure you're all right? Fine. Okay. Yeah. your undivided attention. Just tell us what you want. One of your guests. Who? One Astad Rashid. The local constabulary, how nice. Okay, I want strength and disposition numbers. Yes, Mr. Gold. I want to talk to the police commissioner. And if he's off the island, tell him to call me as soon as you can find him. Right away, sir. That's NASA, isn't it? American Embassy is under some kind of an attack. Details remain sketchy, but sources now confirm the initial reports that local police responded to gunfire on the embassy grounds. These scenes were taped earlier as police began to quickly cordon off the area, barring further access to our television news cameras. We believe their leader could be a man called Miles Hunter. Kendrick. Kendrick, I know him. He was a company man. Bailed out after Afghanistan. When in Well, don't stop. Go on. Well, they blew up a munitions factory in Tangiers about four years ago. They'd been supplying Gaddafi. Our side was very happy about that. Till we realized he took all the armaments for himself and dynamited an empty building. In two seconds, you told me more than anybody else in this building has. Well, if he's your man, you got your hands full. Wonderful. Well, I uh, guess I better get out of your hair. Steve, I don't need to be rude, but what are you doing here? Aren't you getting married in 48 hours? Well, I was looking for my bride. I found her secretary. She said she might be here. She was. Jamie wants to talk with you. She does? State Department dismissed them as oh, well. Good. Good. Sources okay. confirmed that there's been no contact thus far with anyone inside. Where a reception was being held by American ambassador John McNamara for international. You know, John McNamara saved my life once. Winner of this year's CEO's tournament at Wimbledon. This is Simon Stafford for World News at Wimbledon. Back to you, Faye, in the newsroom. Thank you, Simon. We will, of course, bring you the latest. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, That is commonly called a scan. Part of it, very low tech but effective. No one, I'm afraid, will be coming to your rescue as long as that is pointed out there. And we won't be going anywhere until we get Mr. Rush. Understood? Oh, this for a pretty tennis player? Why? Mr. Rashid is a traitor and a spy. 
and I am being paid an obscene amount of money to bring him to justice. So, as you can see, it's really time to talk. Where do you see? How did you do it? And you were an operative for years, and you survived with your sanity. Well, mostly. I had a lot of help. Your fiance. Oh, yes, and my family. I don't have anything like that. I never really did. Do you have friends? You have me now? You know, you seldom get help until you reach out for it. Yeah, no. Dr. Summers, are you okay? What's the matter with you? What is it? Are you okay? How is she really? I really don't have much to tell you, but uh, she gotta live. Yeah. But she may not be the same Jamie when she wakes up. There may have been some neurological damage. I have someone flying down to consult with me. I'll know more then. Mm. You okay? just explaining Jamie's condition to see if I'm right Jamie may never be bionic again just keep her alive doc of course that's the important thing I just wanted to prepare you I'm saying you don't need to all I want is Jamie back any way I can have her okay okay Rudy I'm glad you're here so am I. What happened? I don't know. It's my life's work. And I haven't a clue. The unknown captors inside the embassy have not made any of their demands known, leaving hostage negotiators little to do but sit and wait.
Sounds like the world's going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. I made all the calls. Everybody understands. The wedding guests. Thanks. And the uh, hotel call. Yeah, I know. I'll take care. I can't stay. I understand. Thanks for coming. Now we go live to Nassau. The seat of the American Embassy here in Nassau continues with little change, and with the missile still pointed at the heart of the city. Authorities here seem powerless to effect a solution in this tiny island paradise. We understand there has been no word sent from the negotiators to the President as yet. A high-level meeting has taken place tonight at the White House, but the Joint Chiefs have started attending. So, when was this sent? According to the postmark, yesterday. Yesterday? She must have taped it before she collapsed. Okay, go ahead, play it. I have tried to tell you how I feel, Oscar. And I realize it's difficult to comprehend. But it's as though my, my body is turning against me and it's trying to kill me. I, it's just the most awful thing I've ever experienced. And it's uh, forced me to make the most difficult decision of my life. I, I have to call off the marriage. Because even if I do survive whatever this is that's happening to me, I don't expect to ever be the same again. Steve, you and I had what most people only dream about. My life was truly blessed with you. And uh, I will always love you. Please believe that what I'm doing is the best for both of us. Oh. Jimmy, oh. you're going to be fine. Oh. Rudy Wells is doing everything he can. Just go. Please, Colonel Austin. Please. So what did you tell him? I told him I'd been in the hospital. Yes, we'll see my concerns. Get married. Uh, just uh, let me. 
What? Wouldn't you like to get married? <laughs> Alex and company? Sure. Well, now that I'm here, I don't know where to begin. Well, maybe I can help you. You know I saw the video, right? Yep. You gotta admit, she does have a flair for the dramatic. You know, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about what's been keeping me alive all these years. All the assignments that you sent me on where I should have come back in a body bag. It's that little something in my gut. It was something I listened to. It says, trust here, don't there, do this, don't do that. Well, it's talking to me right now, loud and clear, standing up and slapping me right in the face. And what is it saying? Look, it's saying, get the hell out of Dodge. Excuse me? Look, it's saying Jamie loves me. She doesn't want me out of her life. She'll realize that soon enough for herself. But in the meantime, I just can't sit here and not be with her. I gotta keep occupied, I gotta work. Go fishing. I want an assignment. Steve, let's not get married. Oscar, please. It's been a long time. You know, you once said I was the best. Well, obviously, you've already made up your mind. I want to go to Nassau. Bartender? Yes, sir. I think I need a drink. Ten. Not that nice. What are you doing here? Oscar sent me. You're OSI? That's right. I'm the other member of your team. Look, I'm sure you're very capable, but... Quote, if he gives you any gov, tell him he's off the case, unquote. Sorry. He thought you might have an opinion. Like I said, welcome aboard. Like light infantry, machine pistols, body armor, night glasses. They have 34 prisoners in the embassy's wine cellar. No easy in, no easy out. I know, actually. These hostages are not your local tourist riffraff. Prime Minister, French Ambassador, Estad Rashid, Princess Anne was a no shoot. What about the missile? Chinese made scud. Point and shoot doesn't have to be accurate. I wouldn't want to be within five blocks of where that lands. Actually, where it lands won't make a difference at all. Well, what do you mean? Satellite infrared picked up a hot core. You're kidding. No, nope, it's nuclear. Doesn't matter where it lands. Mile out at sea, goodbye Bahamas. Needless to say, just about nobody else knows that fact. They feel it might harm the tourist trade. You know, come to Nassau and get a tan. Sorry. Hey, Mr. Kendrick must really be hacked off about something. Yeah, but what? That's the question. No, that's not the question. It isn't? The question is, how does he hope to get out of there with the whole world camped on his doorstep? He's got to have something up his sleeve. But if he can get out, I can get in. We can get in. 
Yeah, right, we. There's gotta be a way. It's not them I'm worried about. You shouldn't be worried about anything. You haven't looked outside lately. <laughs> Let them come. The more the merrier. We want every Tom, Dick, and Harry with a tin badge and a cowboy ego from here to Timbuktu out there when we leave. Look, our little tennis player will be starving soon. He'll come out to eat. We'll take him and then we leave. And your only problem will be what to do with two million dollars of your very own. What if he's gotten away? It would have been all over the news. No, he's here. We just haven't found him yet. If you say so. <laughs> Now go help Paul with the sex. in Nassau may have taken the turn for the worst late last night. Reports of an abortive rescue attempt by a contingent of local militia has just surfaced, indicating that they sustained numerous casualties. There's been no mention, however, of the condition of the hostages still believed to be held inside the embassy. The Tell you what, Jim, call state, maybe they'll know something. It's a virus. What's up, Rudy? I found Jamie's problem. It's a computer virus. So what are you saying? I'm saying that your body is fine. Your bionics are fine. What you have is a circuitry sickness. In a way, it's the same kind of sickness that a, a computer in your office would have, a data virus. Something is telling your brain, telling your circuits that you're sick. In reality, there's nothing wrong with you. How did I get this? That's a different matter. If someone put a tainted disk in a computer, it would search out the data and contaminate it. The computer is fine, but the data is gone. And Jamie has chips in her just like a computer. You're saying someone did this to her? It's the only way. Someone went in and corrupted the circuitry. Probably in stages over a period of time. It's impossible. Someone cut her open? It's the only way. Can you make her well? I think so. You think so? I've never seen this before. I've never done this before. I have to shut down your power source completely. And that should eliminate the virus. And then I'll replace the contaminated chips. And I reprogram her. And that should work. You are a phenomenally complicated program. I'll do everything I can. Where's Dave? I can get word to him. Okay. You already did this to me, you know. Put me after him. I'm already on it. You just concentrate on getting well. Do you think you'll ever talk to me again? I don't think that's going to be a problem. Oh, good.
Shut down our power supply. This is the wine cellar here. Staircase and hall leading to it. What's this? Trash collection. It's gathered here and then tucked out. It wouldn't work for us. Your post is too exposed. Service entrance. Same thing. I don't see a weakness, none. No old sewer entrances, underground conduit, abandoned tunnels. No discreet approaches, nothing. This guy Kendrick knew what he was doing when he picked this place for a siege. We've got multiple fields of fire here, here, here. We could settle in for the season for all we can do about it. But how it gets out. Well, with ten men. You got me. I don't see it. Well, we will. Here's the work that you wanted, the guest list, staff. I don't see what good that's going to do us. Well, we haven't heard any demands. Now, he wants something. My guess is, whatever it is, there's got to be inside that industry. some coffee. Hey, thanks. Can I, can I ask you a personal question? Sure, why not? What? What was it like to work with someone you love? What'd you know about that? I have low friends in high places. Come on, you. Two are the worst kept secret at OSI. Well, that's a lot of water under the bridge since then. I'd still like to know. Well, I wouldn't recommend it. The job doesn't leave much time for anything else. That's why I got out. Why do you want to know? Just nosy. It's not every day you get to work with a living legend. <laughs> well, don't believe everything you hear. And half of what you see. Less if you're smart. Good coffee. Thanks. Are you planning on getting married? Hardly. The ones I like don't like me, and the ones who like me are either, well, too young or too old or too something. It's just me and my mom. My dad passed away a while ago. I'm sorry. Well, I better get some sack time. Well, that's a good idea. I'll wake you. Okay. That was good work today. Thanks. Well, I mean it. I'm glad you're here. Thanks. I appreciate that. You know, you knew my father. You and Dr. Wells.
Hi. How you feeling? Better. Good. You're going to be better than good. But I want you to take it easy for a while because there's some inner ear damage. And you might have some balance problems for a while. But nothing to keep you from carrying on as normal. Once again, I owe you my life. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. I made some improvements I think you'll like. We'll talk later. Okay. I'll let you two catch up. I'll be in my office. Who's Steve? Have you talked to him? He's on an assignment. <sighs> Where? I can't tell you that. Oh, well, ask me. You and I have to find out who did this to you. If you want to help Steve, that's the way to do it. John McNamara. He's in the Bahamas. There's nothing you can do now. Oscar. He's on the Bahamas. I can't see you. Wait. Just a little dizzy. I'm just no, dizzy. Listen to me. You are going to get well. Stay here. Help me and do what Rudy says. Now, do you understand? Oscar, the idea that he may have done this is so repulsive to me, I'm reluctant to even mention it. Well, I have to start somewhere, Rudy. All right. I had an associate once. A partner, really. And in a way, bionics is as much his as it is mine. And we had a falling out. He thought that I had betrayed him somehow. He was bitter, irrational, he became hostile. You're talking about Jason Haviland? Yes. Dr. Jason Haviland. What do you know about us, Dr. Rashid? Tennis, a lot of ladies, very good looking. That's about it. Why? Well, his uncle traffics in arms. You're kidding. Oh, how does a tidbit like that stay off the 11 o'clock news? Well, his uncle's the man behind the man. Saddam most recently. And he's rich enough to stay that way. And you think he figures into this somehow? Uh, probably not. Like you say, just a tidbit. Oh. Are you all right? It's just my arm feels funny. I must have slipped on it. So, what's the plan? I'm working on it. Okay, now what? Well, I want to check out a water tower. In broad daylight? I want to try to make my way around to the back wall. There's more cover there. Not without me, you're not. Who's the boss here? You are. If I'm not back in two hours, contact Oscar. You got that? Got it. See ya. Come out and we'll shoot. Don't shoot. I give up. Don't shoot. Climb down now.
water tower. I swear we checked it. Greetings from your own. Please. I will pay you. I'm sorry. I already have a contract. Twenty million dollars. You must have been a very bad boy. Who was the one who said he checked the water tower? Well. Paul. Put him in the cellar, and then go find our eagle-eyed Paul and shoot him. What? Do it! I do it myself, but I have more important matters. Radio the sub. Tell them to rendezvous at 0600 tomorrow. Now I believe I'll prepare our exit from here. Hello, is anyone there? Yeah, this is Captain Ramsey. Who am I speaking to? Captain Ramsey, would you please tell your boss that I would like to speak with him? You can tell him. Trixie Winnetka is called. Trixie Winnetka? That's what he said. Trixie Winnetka. We're dealing with a comedian here. I'm going to nail this guy. Put Trixie Winnetka through the skunk works. It may be coach speak, but I doubt it. Also, there's confirmation of wireless shortwave traffic, both in and out of the embassy. Miles Kendrick has been talking to somebody, huh? That's right. It's untraceable. Hmm. Jamie. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hi. What are you doing out of bed? Doctor's orders. Follow all leads, and I understand you have one. First Steve, and now you. Well, it's a regular mutiny. What do you have? Something about Rudy's former partner. You like a car ride? As long as I'm not driving. So, you're the famous Oscar Goldman. My husband died four months ago. Oh. Our condolences. Somehow, I don't think you're here to comfort a bereaved widow, are you? Actually, we're trying no, to... No, absolutely not. You're correct. We, um, we had no idea. And we're very sorry for your loss. Mrs. Haviland, your husband played a role in saving my life and the life of someone that I love very much. Oh, are you one of those people? Um, yes. I see. Lucky you. Well, right now there's someone out there who is trying to destroy your husband's lifetime of work. Is that what this is about? Well, it stopped being my husband's work a long time ago. It stopped being his life a long time ago. Cirrhosis of the liver. He drank himself to death. And his work destroyed him. I, I don't think I can summon up much concern about it today. Mrs. Haviland, this is very important to us, or we wouldn't be bothering you. Did your husband work for anybody else after he left the OSI? No. Or did he leave any papers with anyone, or anything like that, before he died? No! You're certain? Absolutely! I was there every single day. Do you know what it's like to watch someone you love slowly disappear? Well, your husband, uh, 
He gave me something that I don't have any idea I could ever possibly repay. But if you ever feel like you need to talk with someone, please, I'd be very happy if you called me. Truly. I should go. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, could, could I ask, who is this? My daughter. Your daughter? I don't see her very often. She works overseas. Did she know anything about your husband's work? Oh, yes. She's her father's daughter. I can't believe this. All this time I've been treating her. Why is she good? You bet she's good. She's the agent I sent to the Bahamas with Steve. What are you talking about? She came in and volunteered. Oh, my God. Miss, you can't park here. You have to move along. Well, can, can you make an exception? I'm attached with the American LSI. No exceptions. I have my orders to clear a five-block area around the embassy. Please, right now, turn it around and go. We need to clear the streets. Keep the streets clear. Go back to your home. Well, well, well. The famous Steve Austin. Kendrick. Retirement not exciting enough for you. Or was it the call of your old Uncle Sam in the red, white, and blue? It was something like that. Pity. I can guarantee you, you're not going to like this very much. It doesn't make sense. What's that? The picture's going to be in every newspaper, post office, and Nick Mendime store from here to Hoboken. Am I that big? Oh, you're bigger. Well, thank God I'm going nowhere near Hoboken then. Having all that money and being stuck in Hoboken. Imagine. Horrors. No. I have a little Dakar on the Black Sea. 200 acres of the prettiest land rolling down to the jewel of the Volga. Do you have any idea how far 20 million American dollars goes on the blocks? I'm the Tsar returned. I'm the second coming. I'm King Miles the first. <laughs> Put him with the others. I have our exit to attend to. Who's that? Steve. Steve Austin. Mac? Is that you? What are you doing here? The same as you. No. Please, tell me you're not alone. Tell me there are others coming. Maybe you better offer me a drink. Steve is in that compound. But that's all we know. This is all my fault. No, it isn't. He and John McNamara are old friends. They go way back. It was Steve's choice. It was my video that nudged him into that choice. He was retired. You know that. Look, I know Steve, too. He'll go a long way for a friend, especially a friend that saved his life. Get me to Nassau. There it comes. No. Way. I'm going. It's out Monster. of the question. Whether I'm on this team or not, I am going. I'm not going to make another mistake. 
L look at it this way. Yeah. It's your dream come true. Your prodigal children back in action. I suppose it serves me right. Get me General Hanks at Air Force. Atlantic Flight Com, this is Charlie Eagle 2, climbing Angels 3-5. Hey, Roger, Charlie 2, Angels 3-5, radar contact. Uh, Flight Com, I'm Bahamas Boon, one passenger, ETA, 48 minutes. Roger, copy. You have a priority PCA clearance, Charlie 2. The sky is yours. Who the hell are you flying, anyway? None of your business. Charlie 2. Done. Let's see if that gets anyone's attention. How much did you plant? Enough to make them jumpy. Not enough to hurt us. What the hell is that? We have a leak. Radiation detected in the nuclear warhead. I repeat, radiation detected nuclear warhead. We have a leak. How you doing? I'm okay, Steve. Mac. What do they want, do you know? A sheet? But I haven't the foggiest idea why. It's not good, though. Poor guy's been retching his guts out over there ever since they brought him in. It's just my uncle. He thinks I have stolen from him. But did you? I will pay you five million dollars to bring me to safety. Ten million dollars. What's the drill here? Uh, food, uh, twice a day, thereabouts. Infrequent visits. We don't scare them, so they've mostly forgotten about us. What about guards? Uh, not recently. That's good. What do you have in mind? I'm trying to get us out of here. Yeah, second that motion. Remember, we have precious cargo, valuable antiques. I resemble that remark. Is that your plan? Well, it used to work. I'd be surprised. <laughs> What's that? That's funny. That's our old errand. What is it? Uh, it was changed in the 60s, the Cuban Missile Crisis. It's got to be a mistake. It's a fallout alert. I'm afraid you're going to say that. Mom, Mom, please, just listen to me. Mom, please. Listen to me. I, I did something. Put the phone down. Oh, God. Now. Don't even think about it. Don't worry, I won't run. You and I've got some talking to do. This wasn't about you, Dr. Summers. This is about my father. Oscar Gold. Oscar, it's Jamie. I'm here with Kimberly now. Jamie, we've just discovered shortwave radio equipment in Kimberly's apartment. We think that she's the one that's been communicating with Kendrick. Yes, I understand. I'm on my way. Got your car out there? Let's go. This is Ramsey reporting in an 0400. No change in the situation. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Oh, and by the way, I don't think I'll have any trouble getting it out of the OSI. This is a restricted area. Whoa. If I'm in a car, I want you to arrest and hold her. Shouldn't I get someone to There's operate? There's no time. Can you turn those off? What, the lights? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, with the proper authority. Just do it. Now. Yeah, this is Captain Ramsey. Give me a TACCOM. Well, she's got an ID, all right. Probably knows God himself. Now, just do it. Kill the lights. Push their needles off the scale, then round everyone up. We're getting out. dying in that hospital bed. Uh, excuse me? It's okay, she's my fiance. Now, what's that? I don't know. That's one I never heard before. Yes, sir. Ten rats and climbing. We have an event, sir. Repeat, this is an event. So this doesn't last very long, so we better put a wiggle in the rock here. Go first. I love watching your wiggle. Let's go. I understand, sir. Yes, Mr. President. Right away. This is Oscar Goldman. Son of man. Wait, 
Tell the others. It's bingo time. I don't know. So far, so good. Look, why don't you get them out of here? I'll take care of Kendrick. Paul. Wrong? You go with them. I'll find them. Will you please not argue with me? Don't raise your voice to me. Delta teams one, two, and three are moving into place. We're sending in the containment team now. You just got out of the hospital bed. I'm not the one who couldn't knock down a silly little door. I was just saving myself. Jamie? Steve? There is some kind of spaceman on the grounds. Oh, God. Radiation. Trust me. I want Kendrick. I mean, fine. Just be careful. I want you back. Me too. for a little smoke and mirrors. Victim, you tell me he's dying. You're getting exposed. You decide. What do you want me to do? Hey, go. Look, I told you I'm OSI. Yeah, and I said, kiss the floor right now. You're dead. Like I said I'm one of the good guys. Don't mind if I borrow this. Jamie. They're getting away in the NEC truck. They're heading east on Bay Road. I'm going after them.
What is that? All of the insurance policy. Once we board the sun, no one can follow us. Concentrate. Don't let that happen again. Stuck. What? Nothing. <sighs> Steve, Kimberly's driving the truck. Well, I'm not leaving you. I'm... Options. Can you see what he's got in store for you? I can hardly wait. Not bad. Sometimes old fashioned's the way to go. You've been telling me that for 20 years. You know, we're definitely getting too old for this. Let's go home. Friends, we are gathered here today to join in the holy state of matrimony, Jamie Summers and Steve Austin. I do. 
Not yet. You do, huh? Yes, I sure do. Wait a minute. We haven't come to that party yet. Yeah, we have. <laughs> do you, Jamie Summers, take Steve Austin to be your lawful wedded husband, to, to have him to hold, to cherish in sickness and in health forevermore, till, till death do you part? Excuse me, now you can say it. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Way to go, pal.